know about the periodic table. You've heard about the elements. Well, now it's time to meet them. I may look soft because I am a soft metal, but I am aggressive. I don't care that I'm soft enough to cut with a butter knife. When water or air come close to me, I react like crazy. I am in a hydrogen gas that lights up with the heat of the reaction, resulting in a violet colored flame. People gather around and see it all go down because they say it's a lot like mini fireworks. But I'm not the only one. Out of me and my family, I'd say sodium and potassium, we're the tightest because we're known as the active metals. Everyone knows we are dangerous. Don't come near us. They even got us lock us up in a container filled with kerosene oil because they don't want us to explode up all in your face. So watch your back. I'm the lightest one in the whole periodic table, the lightest metal with an atomic weight of 6.941. My density is so low that if you gently place me on the surface of water, I will float. I can also be strong though. When I combine with other metals like aluminum, we're a very strong and light alloy that is created. And that's why the guys at the aerospace industry like me. Me and my family, we have a high electropositivity. So if you take away my single electron from my outermost shell, it will give me the stable electron configuration of the inner gas. I don't want to lose my rem by becoming a noble gas, so you better not tell me. Hi, I'm Kelsey, but you can call me construction worker. I'm pretty famous. If you haven't heard about me yet, I don't know where you've been. I keep your body together, your skeleton and teeth that is. And you can't get enough of me when you grow up, because you need to build the calcium phosphate in your bones and stay strong like me. I'm a bit more tough on the inside because when my ions dissolve in H2O, my insides become hard. But even in a fiery argument, I don't burn because I melt at such high temperatures. My melting point is 842 degrees Celsius. I have an orange-red color flame. If you want to hang out some time, you can find me in lime, cement, chalk, and limestone. My number is uh, 2 my atomic number, that is. My family and I normally have high melting points, many oxidation states, form colored compounds, are paramagnetic, and were also used as many catalysts for industrial reactions. But me, I'm bad. I'm so bad that people can't bear to be near me. Why? Because I used to be everywhere. They used to be like, hey, Murder Mercury, you're great in the mines. Or, hey, Murder Mercury, you're mind-blowingly amazing as filling in those tooth cavities. But I'm not anymore because I'm not safe enough for your health or your damn safety rules. Whatever, I'm still cool because I'm the only metallic element that is liquid at room temperature, aka 25 degrees Celsius. I easily evaporate into toxic fumes. I've been here since 1500 BC, so you better respect me or else. And for tons of time, I've been attacking the nervous systems of creatures that feed on the little fishies that I contaminate and build up inside. <laughs> People say I'm boring, but I don't see it. Maybe it's because I'm the only non-metal in my family of poor metals. Or probably because I don't really occur, probably due to the disruption of my nucleus by bombardment with subatomic particles made from natural radioactivity. I mean, I'm in borax and detergents, which is pretty lame. It's not fair. Why does aluminum get to be the third most abundant element in the Earth's crust? Sorry, it's 7.5%. You know when you see those grains of sand glistening like diamonds in the sun? It's due to the fact that in my most basic form, I have the same crystalline structure as a diamond. I'm the second most abundant element in the Earth's crust after oxygen. I'm found in granite, quartz, clay, and sand. You know those little packets with the little clear beads inside them? You find this in your new box of shoes or whatever? It's to keep it moisture free. It's me, silica gel. Did you know that the Silicon Valley in California was named after me? You know what's interesting? My buddy Arsenic has one more valence electron than I do. So when we mix, that extra electron wanders around the crystal unattached and can conduct electricity. <laughs>
Ooh, I can be a chameleon. I'm danger, baby. You know World War II? Who caused terrible burns? Me. I ignite an air. And I even burn underwater. But most importantly, I'm using fertilizers. Oh, and don't forget Coca-Cola. You know why it tastes so good? Because I'm in it as phosphoric acid. And that's why it tastes so good. You can use it as breast My name comes from the Greek word selen, meaning moon. Even though my appearance is deceiving of my intentions, I'll tell you what I'm all about. A lack of me in your diet results in Keshen disease, which causes heart muscle failure. I get a real laugh at it when animals eat plants concentrated with me, like veg, because it makes them stagger around like if they were drunk. I was used as a weapon in World War I to kill thousands, however I have saved millions of people's lives from waterborne illnesses like cholera and typhoid fever by being added to the water in small amounts. In addition, I'm used to kill the bacteria in toilet bowls, and you encounter me in salt shakers and swimming pools. I am uber unique because I have no color. Me and my besties, Argon and Neon, refuse to play with anyone. We don't form compounds at all. Got that? If you inhale me, which you shouldn't do, you are gonna sound like this. Hey, I'm so cool! I was made in massive stars, like the sun, where four hydrogen atoms fuse together, releasing a lot of energy. On Earth, my nucleus is one of the products of radioactive decay, the alpha particle. <laughs> We're shiny and affected by water and acids. That is why uranium is used in advanced smoke detectors and nuclear reactions. It's hard to isolate us due to our radioactive decay and instability. What's awesome is nuclear fission. It happens when we take a neutron and fire it at an unstable radioactive form. Its nucleus then splits apart with great energy. Neutrons go flying in all directions. A chain reaction occurs as those go on to split other nuclei. Our artificially created only existed in teeny amounts for teeny time and decay quick. Bye bye.